Hello everybody, Grey Jedi J here, coming to you with a very special and unique Star Wars review that is more out of this world than the galaxy far, far away. The reason for my absence since my last review has been that I've been making my own uh, custom lightsaber hilt. Uh, I started off by just coming up with one design, this top one here, but then I ditched it immediately because it's very reminiscent of Anakin's lightsaber and it wasn't really that unique. So I came up with this second one, which I think is more, is, is more, you know, my own preference. It's quite bold, it stands out, it's quite a uh, sleek looking lightsaber. Drew inspiration from Obi-Wan's lightsaber, Mace Windu's, and in part Darth Revan's. So after I got this concept, I drew a neat picture with some labelling, so I knew what uh, materials I was going to use. So that's that. It looks neater, more professional. Now, for the grand unveiling. Here it is. My custom lightsaber hilt. The hilt of Grey Jedi J. I was over the moon with how this turned out. Really, really happy. Really impressed with the results. It was so much better than than the concept or how I intended it to turn out. I'd say it's 99.9% .9 accurate uh, in conformity with the concept design. Uh, it's a nice weight, it's a good size, it's primarily a single-handed lightsaber but I suppose you could grip it with both hands, it's just a bit claustrophobic. Uh, as for materials, uh, the main body of the saber is chrome tubing. I've got about three meters worth so I've got enough left to make another saber if I want to. This part here, the emitter, is... Shit. <laughs> I've forgotten what it is. It's, um... It's a bracket for, um... Curtain railing. If you're gonna fit a curtain railing, draw this to the wall and you put the railing inside. That's what it is, so I stuck that on top. These ringlets here, and here. They're all rubber washers. Bought them in one pack for about 150. These ones I just sprayed silver uh, or chrome. Uh, this little uh, I don't know blade adjustment knobble button thing here. I don't know what that is. I think it's some kind of stopper. I just found it around the house. This is black electrical tape. The activation switch is just a spare popper button that you get with tracky bottoms. Then the main grip here. These are uh, bits cut from a windscreen wiper, which is what was used on the prop saber for Luke Skywalker back in A New Hope. So I was really impressed with how that looks. Mine's just a little bit thinner. Then the pommel, which is the hardest part to find. This is the um, adapter for uh, the water pipe on the back of a dishwasher. And I just hollowed that out so it fits on the end of the saber. Uh, and then sprayed it chrome. All in all, I'm really happy with this. Just as soon as I got the materials together, just put them all down and then whack them together with some all purpose extra strong clear adhesive. This stuff really works well. If any of it bleeds out from the sides, when it dries, you can just, I don't know, cut it off with a Stanley knife. It comes off really easily, doesn't leave any blemishes. But, uh, really really had a good time making this. I really thoroughly recommend it to anyone who, who's considering doing it because it's all good fun. Uh, this one hopefully will become a prop saber or a stunt saber. Uh, attach some polycarbonate tubing to the inside and use it for dueling, hopefully. Uh, give you a look at that if it gets a blade stuck on it one day. But um, I've really, really enjoyed making this. Really enjoyed showing it to you and I'm, I'm hoping that you, you've had a good time looking at it and if you are considering making your own custom saber that you could draw some inspiration from mine it would be good to just see your ideas spread and if you do show me tell me about it we'll talk so this is Grey Jedi J and my custom lightsaber hilt saying until my next review peace out